have my cup of chrysanthemum tea and I'm ready to open my mail. What's in the package? Good morning everybody. I have to tell you these unboxings are driving my husband crazy because he brings in the mail and I tell him, don't open that! I want to show my friends first and see what we got. You know, it's all because I made that uh, 200, 200, 100 videos in three months goal. So if you're tired of these, let me know and I'll stop doing them. But they're really easy ways and soap makers buy so much stuff. Um, to try to promote their product and create a, a unique, um, neat, neat, neat and angry and blah, 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 a neat and unique product. So look what I got! I got something cool. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to use it or do it. Everybody I've seen use them. Looks like it's super, super hard. But now that we've got the 3D printer, I thought it might be fun to do 3D pens because I can't figure out the software for making stamps, which is my major goal. Uh, my friend Tammy from Atomic Balm Bath and Body gave me an idea for making them with uh, <sighs> with other things. Um, I was thinking maybe even glue guns. I don't know. I got a new glue gun too. So, but I got that at Michael's on the, the Black Friday sale. <laughs> Not that I needed to because, you know, glue guns are cheap. But, um, yeah, so this is an ABS PLA filament. So I can use either one of those, which is kind of cool. I think ABS is flexible and PLA is the one that is uh, rigid. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. This one is white. And you can get it in the, is with a UK plug as well as the US style plug or a Euro, yeah, European type plug or Australia or wherever you are. So yeah, a 3D pen for drawing your dreams. So I'm gonna hopefully be able to make a six white boomers stamp for my soap because I have been wanting to make an Australian Christmas soap because that's one of my favorite Christmas songs because I can't even imagine Christmas being hot and wonderful. <laughs> one of these days our family's just gonna have to go to New Zealand or Australia for Christmas. <laughs> I have friends who do that in Canada. When you live here, there's a lot of people from all over the Commonwealth. Um, so yeah, uh, anyway, that's why I bought this one because I couldn't find a kangaroo stamp. <laughs> that and they weren't too expensive. They make them for children, apparently. Uh, but this is an adult one. It's got some templates in here for me, I hope. And let's open it up and find out. Let's, let's see if I wasted my money or if I did a, a good thing. If anybody else has a 3D pen out there, let me know if you like it or not. Maybe I'll do a, uh, a review of this one, although I can't see myself buying multiple 3D pens just because it's kind of outside my, my budget. I can have all of that in the bag. All right, it's very boxed very nicely. Maybe. Oh. All right, so here's what it looks like in the inside. Instructions on how to use it. The pen itself. I don't know, I've got to be able to get really close to my drawings. But without, you have to have a little lift on it too for it to lay flat. I'm guessing it's a lot like doing, um, so it came with some PLA. And the plug, I don't see any of the, uh, this was supposed to come with templates, but it did not. Okay, so, maybe I bought a different one. You know you start looking at stuff and you buy one. This was kind of a mid-range one. Anyway, just got it off of Amazon if you're interested in getting your own. Bye for now. Click like and subscribe and come on back and find out what other tools and things I'm using to soap with.